I'm gonna start I've with some cheesy workouts. Let's start with our jokes. Both of our legs front and back. You should really feel the tension right here. Just punch it. Try to do all these exercises. Do it quick. You can't learn to tell you when to stop. Do it until you feel the pain. Side first, left leg. Both of them going back. Hey guys, my name is Harsh and Vale. Today I'm going to be giving you some basketball workouts. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with agility workouts. Then we're going to be moving on to dribbling workouts and shooting workouts. Let's start with our agility. So first, if you like find an imaginary line on the floor, then this is the exercise we're going to be doing. So we're going to be jumping with both of our legs front and back over that line. Let's get started. And we're doing all of these agility exercises for about 30 times when, if you're a starter. So we're going like this. You should really feel the tension right here. This part should really burn when you're doing this exercise. And try to do all these exercises pretty quick. Because if you do them really slow, you're not going to get that burn. And getting that burn will tell you when to stop. Okay, I felt that burn. I'm stopping now, because don't over force yourself. So now the next exercise is we're doing that same thing, but we're jumping side to side. Let's do this. Same thing here. Do it until you feel the pain. And go pretty fast, not too fast that you step on the line. Take some deep breaths. Okay, I started to feel that pain. Stop. So now we're doing this exercise. We're going right leg first, left leg with it. Then going back right leg first, left leg with it. So let's do this. It's pretty common, this exercise, for runners and even for some basketball players. That really, feel, you can really feel the pain doing that just a little. We're gonna do that same exercise. We're gonna move side to side. Three, two, one. I'd say doing this hand movement too would really help. Cause you gotta get into the motion while you're doing this. Okay. Okay, so now, that's it for the agility workouts. Now we're gonna do arm strengthening and full body workouts. So first, we're doing push-ups, the most common exercise in the world. So some people do this the wrong way. Well, I mean, it's not the wrong way, but it, it's harder to get muscle if you do it like that. So the right way I would say is, to be, do like this, but tuck your arms in. Like that, <laughs> come up. Some people spread their arms out like this, which won't help, and it would cause unwanted, unwanted pain on your arms. So this would be the right way to do it. Tuck your arms in with your hips and do it. Try to get at least 50. 10 sets of five. five. Okay, so now we're going to be doing sit-ups. Sit-ups is a really good exercise, which will help your abs. So we're starting. Try to get the same amount here, too. About like this, and I'll show you this way. I usually do this. I put my hands behind my head and do it, but some people put their hands across their chest like this which also helps. The only thing is that you're not cheating and lifting your legs up. Your legs have to stick to the floor. This workout really tense, is really tense to your abs. Okay, now we're gonna be doing squats. Make sure to get that L shape 
when you do your workout. For example, look, I'm getting like a square, like I'm sitting on a chair. You have to get that shape with your legs when you're doing these squats. It really makes you want to stop because the pain on your knees, it hurts. But this will really help with your legs and the power that you need to run. So now that's it for cardio. But now we're moving into moves. So my favorite part of basketball. First, we're just cooling down, doing some easy crossovers. Just cool down. Just cool down, cause it's gonna get even more tense. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna be doing crossovers, but we're doing them pretty fast, like if you're in game. So we're going fast. Make sure to not lose the ball in any of these move drills that we're gonna be doing. Take this serious. Keep doing these as fast as you can. Not too fast that you lose the ball. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing through the legs, but we're going like this. We're doing both left leg and right leg. So let's get this started. Get it fast. Stop until you feel the pain. Now we're doing our right leg. It is hard for some people to do this on their right leg because they're right hand, right handed. But you have to practice with both hands because it can really help you with in games. Cause the other teams might know your weaknesses and that you're better at right hand than you than you are at left hand. So the defenders might only guard you on right, but you gotta give them a surprise and go to the left, which will cause them to think. think. Oh, this dude has actually been practicing. You gotta be good at both legs. Make sure to take deep breaths during this and don't hold your breath while you're doing any of these exercises. It can cause a lot of pain. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing through the legs, but we're going all the way around our leg like this. And get it faster and faster. It should feel like your heartbeat. Same thing on your right leg. And make sure to not lose a ball. I mean, if you do, then practice. Practice. If you do lose a ball, it doesn't mean you're bad. It means you still need practice. Okay, so now we're gonna do behind the backs. This is a move that Curry broke Chris Paul's ankles with. So we're going double behind the back. Like I told you, make sure not to lose a ball. Because I just lost it. That doesn't mean I'm bad, but I just gotta practice. So now we're going here. And you can notice that I'm going both sides. I'm doing this because you're not only gonna stick with one corner or one side of the court while you're running. This will really help Practicing going side to side because who knows if you're getting, if the defender's on this side, then you can go this way, maybe fake it and do a crossover. Make sure you don't lose it. Okay, the next exercise we're going to be doing is gonna be a combo. So we're doing through the legs, crossover, through the legs, crossover, and we're coming here behind the back. And now we're doing that with the other leg. 
So through the legs, cross, through the legs, cross over, through the legs, cross over, going behind the back. Okay, so that would be it for dribbling drills. Now we're going shooting drills. So one of the best shooting drills I know is you don't need a hoop for this one. So you're just sitting on your knees, getting the ball, practicing your form, shooting it high up. Shooting it high up. Ooh. Get that power in, because you have to build up the power in your abs. And biceps. Biceps is the biggest part of your hands that you need to shoot. And also triceps. Ooh. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the same thing, but we're gonna be laying down. This puts more pressure on yourself because the ball might land on your face, which means you know what's gonna happen. So we're still trying to throw this high. Don't throw it real backwards like this, but we're keeping it same. The height level is gonna the same, and wherever you left the ball is where it's gonna come back. It shouldn't go to the side, Where's the other side? Has to be the same height and the same weight you threw it. Has to come back the same exact way. Practice that. Practice until you get better. And remember guys, you've got to stretch before you start your workout. I did the stretch before I started this video, but you guys need to stretch before you start any of these workouts because stretching is really important. If you don't, I mean, you're going to get severe pain no matter what, even if you do it right. So that's it for this video, guys. Please subscribe and like, and like this video. And also, share. Bye.